Cup final, of course, it is a huge game. Conditions at the moment in Colombo at the Premadasa Stadium are very good indeed. There's a bit of a breeze which should keep any uh, potential rain away. That's been the case so far throughout this series. The two big teams, Sri Lanka versus India. What a game this promises to be. We've already had one surprise. Dinesh Kartik is out of the Indian team. Virat Kohli is in, but he's not opening the batting. It's Raul Dravid along with Sachin Tendulkar. But I've got to say, I like Rahul Dravid opening the batting because of those sort of strokes. And I reckon, Bish, that's the tactic. That's the strategy. More time at the crease, 50 overs. He can take his time, but he can also have the ball coming on nicely. Besides the thread one here, and I was just about to say, that is the difference when you have someone like Verinder Saywag in your side. One day cricket. Played a little bit against this fella, Tendulkar, and uh, he made mincemeat of us on numerous occasions. There, we just see the flick. Oh, great shot. Wonderful back, back foot drive through the offside field. So, uh, not just well timed, but well placed as well. Such a pleasure to watch, isn't he? It's terrific. Here we go, free hit. Giving us lots of room, he's uh, got in the air. There is a fielder circling underneath, and it doesn't matter, of course. They're going to trot back for two runs. That brings up Saxon's 50 as well, off 47 balls, so his strike rate is 106.4. Brilliant stuff from him at this stage. He will know, for Saxon Tendorka, he will know that he's far from finished. He's got a very good record in finals. His 92nd one international 50. There's that wrong, and he's picked that beautifully. There is a man down there, has it over the top. Oh, it's gone. Oh, hang on a sec. That's gone. That's gone for six. Clever, clever thinking, but it has gone for six in the end. Very, very close there for Rahul Dravid. He picked the wrong one. Cries of catch, it's soft, very soft. Goodness me, that'll uh, be very devastating for India and Dravid in particular. He's one of those guys who never, ever, ever gives it away. You can see that he is uh, very, very annoyed with himself, understandably. It's not the first time we've seen a soft dismissal in this tournament. He's on his way now. He's been riding his luck, his luck has run out, but Sanat Jayasuri, he hasn't lost any of his guile. Although he did make as many runs throughout, his bowling has been spot on. And a cleverly disguised uh, leg break, which uh, had enough flight, drive it drives straight to the field at 39, India 95 for one. Hendra Singh Dhoni is the uh, man coming at number three. Now that's uh, a little bit unusual, there's some shuffling going on. Well, that's not going to be a wicket, that's for sure. Short and wide, and it's been dealt with severely. First boundary in 21 balls for Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Ah! Has he got it? I got the impression that Tendulkar had left his crease. He hasn't. Yes. As a presence of mind, I'm sure he does. That's phenomenal cricket. If you can get the runs, not take risks, nothing like it. Have they got their man this time? It's certainly his foot lifted. Stretching out. And yet again, it's going to be a very close call. This is quick as well. Is he back? Not out, picked. Well, it's happened twice now. Oh, lovely, yeah, premeditated and lovely. Runs away for yet another boundary. And 150 comes up with that little bit of deft touch from Tony. And he gets a wide one. Nice little freebie from Mendes. Allows Sachin Tendulkar to bring up century number 44 in one day nationals. Great hundred this from the little master. Oh, it has been flawless. And just look at uh, everyone on his feet. That's away. And it's gone for four. Terrific shot. Let me correct that. It's three men outside the circle. That is right out of the middle. That is absolutely brilliant. What a terrific shot that is. Raced away. Brings up the 50 as well for Dhoni, 55 balls only, so these two guys have done a superb job 
and they've also just brought up the three-figure stand. 100 runs in just 104 balls. But it's an interesting line being bowled here by Malinga. He's looking to bowl the Yorker full and wide outside the off stump as opposed to straight up the stumps at the moment. It's in the air. It shall be taken. There's a fielder camping underneath it. Tundumbi it is who's taken the catch. Malinga has done some business here. He's a bit of a go-to man, is uh, Malinga. Often when Kumar Sangakara needs a wicket, he brings him back in and it's worked this time. That is a huge wicket for Sri Lanka. It looked like he beat Dhoni for pace. He wasn't that short either. But because they're in the power play, Dhoni's looking to, to force it a little bit, which you would do if you take the power play. So the breakthrough is welcome, but it's a good hand by Dhoni coming in a little bit earlier today, gone for 56, 205 for two. Yuvraj Singh, next man in. Been sitting with the pads on for some time, 27 years of age. We know that he is devastating with the bat, this man at times. Lots of bats around here as well, cricket bats and uh, flying foxes. Well, isn't that magnificent? She's beautiful. Take a look at that for flight. Gorgeous looking face it has. Absolutely unbelievable, really. Oh, it's in the air, it's going down the ground, it's going all the way, it's a big six. Well, that's what he does best. He's one of the biggest hitters in world cricket. Yuvraj Singh is about to turn it on. This is amazing. You know, these guys, it doesn't matter to them if there's a long on in position. He's just going to hit and hit it out of the ground and very, very early on into that shot, that fielder knew he was nowhere in contention. Oh, good shot. What a beautiful straight drive right out of the mid of the bat for four. That is power cricket. That's Yuvraj at his best. Oh, yes, down the wicket he goes. That's a wonderful shot way over the top of extra cover. It's gone all the way for six. So Tendulkar has definitely got the message. It's time to go. Oh, and it's gone backwards and it's gone over the top. That's a uh, reverse sweep. I don't think he changed the grip on the bat. Well, that's more like it. You don't change the grip on the bat. And there he goes again. And once again, it's got it past him. And once again, it's going down to the boundary. Tendulkar is having a wonderful time. I mean, here's a classical batsman playing shots that you would never have believed that he would be attempting years ago. 15 off the over, and he goes again, and there's a big appeal for LBW, and yes, he's given him, yes, he's given him, Tendulkar going for a reverse sweep once again, that brings to an end a superb innings, a lot of people, Sri Lankans and Indians alike, would have come to this ground today, well, even although they might have been hoping to see Sri Lanka win, they would have loved to see Sri Lanka, uh, Tendulkar make runs, I think that's out. Yes, that, that was dead centre. Sachin Tendulkar won in innings. Masterly performance today. 138. It's 276 for three. And the new batsman, Yusuf Patan. Well, he won't uh, be allowed to hang around. He's going to have to go from the word go. Yuvaraj is on 28 at a runner ball. Well, oh, that's a good uh, delivery too. And he's out. Well, I think... Uh, I think he hit down and the ball then hit the bat on the way up. He doesn't want to go at the moment, but uh, while he did chop down, I got the feeling the ball was on the way up. I think he might have to go lap, so to speak. I'm convinced. Yeah, it hit the ground, then it hit the bat, and then it went straight to the fielder. As simple as that, and so I think uh, we'll see the umpire, the third umpire, give this one out for sure. Here's a little knot, a nod of the head, and so unfortunately for Patan, he's out first ball. That's well played. He steered that one nice and fine. Will it get to the boundary? Yes, it is. Malinga trying to get across there. Wasn't able to do so. The end of the over, 281 for four. Much discipline there. Well, that's in the air. This has gone miles up. This will take some catching. Down she comes. Got him. Nicely taken. Kula Sekera down there as cool as a cucumber. That went miles up in the air. 
Well, Reiner did try, try to get under it. It's never easy hitting one against that angle. That's why they, they are attempting to bowl this angle, but this is a tough one. They're never easy when they go as high as that, but that was exceptional technique in the catch as well. So, eight for Reina, it's 302 for five. Oh, interesting, interesting. <laughs> well, he got down on the knee, that's his off century. And he's done it in very unorthodox fashion. He was going to take it away to the leg side. It was on the offside and he flicked it over the top of Sanachai Surya's head. Last ball of the innings. Smashed away through the offside field. And all the way for four. So magnificent finish. 11 runs off the over. 319 for five. The total of the 50 overs. India have done superbly. History suggests that India should be uh, comfortable winners, but you never know in one day international cricket. South Africa, Sri Lanka will need to cover a lot of ground and the responsibility lies on this pair, Dilshan and uh, Sanat Jayasuriya. Having said that, have some of this, because this just races away through cover. Dilshan is underway with the boundary of the innings. Not the right place, buddy, because this one's gone even quicker, like a tracer to the fence. He shakes his head. Oh, they're loving it, the crowd, though. This time he gets the width, and guess what? It goes back to the fence through cover point. The three balls with width and three boundaries. This is the third. Smashes it again, all along the ground. Up and over this time. It's the desired result, because it's four more to Dilshan, it's fourth boundary. The plan seems to be clear that uh, Dilshan's going to go up to the bowling. Hello, he's in a hurry as Dilshan tonight. He's hit all five boundaries so far. You'll fetch it up to him and uh, we'll have to fetch it from the boundary. Down the track, yes! Don't hold me back, says the old boy. Jay, oh, he's in there, son of... There's some of that. Well, he's joining in the party. The crowd's just on their feet. Concerned coach, Eric Kirsten. Uh, so, uh, he can't hold back, too. On the walk, and there you go. Oh, you love it. One day cricket at its best. Son of coming to the party some more. This is a typical Jazz Surya shot, bludgeoned it away. He dropped it! And it's the youngster, Virat Kohli, has put down a big one. First chance goes begging. This seems to be uh, moments of things to come. He's a good fielder usually, straight to him and out. He did go too hard at all, took his eyes off it. Uh-oh, yeah, yeah, the bowler ain't going to be happy. A dozen from that over as well, it's 47 for none. So finally in a catching position, that's R.P. Singh. There's the starfish! <laughs> I wonder when it was going to turn up tonight. Brilliant from Dilshan. Well, they've been waiting for this, and he's delivered. He's shown that he's been doing it so consistently. It's not a fluke. Quite intentional. Oh, great effort. Tremendous practice. What an entertainer. Oh, it's got him. Harbhajan Singh has done the damage. They wanted that. They wanted that badly. You can see from that reaction from Harbhajan and his teammates, they know they needed to get Tilaka Ratna Dilshan. They've got him. Big one. Big one for Harbhajan. Searching for the dab down the third man for that trajectory, the lower trajectory. He played the trajectory, not the lengths. He would have been better off on the front foot. He just misjudged the lengths. Harbhajan knows he's got a big one. He wanted that badly. India needed it as well. But Dilshan threatened once again, but brilliant 42. 64 for one. Mahela J. Wardner, 32 years of age, hasn't fired so far in the compact cup. Over the top of the bowler, and another boundary. Quite a good shot that is. That is terrific stuff. 
Now that's the problem. You're bowling to a left and right hand combination. You've got your fielders, the deep fielders, on the onside. You can't afford to be bowling well pitched up on the off stump. That's easy. That's what he was waiting for. But now there's a little bit of a change. Gone. Cotton bowl. Again, he's delighted. He's screaming with joy out there in the middle. I mean, he's done the business twice now. Now that's worked for him. It hasn't turned. And uh, Jay Wardana has been turning it onto the onside. Getting a bit of a leading edge or at least the front portion of the bat. There, that's the Dusra. That's the scramble seam. He didn't read it. Played it onto the onside. And Harbhajan it was in the way. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, that's animation. <laughs> that's animated actually. 76 for two. About 10 minutes ago, it was 64 for no loss. And Dorsha went, and uh, then Jay Wardner. Kuma Sangakara is at the crease now, and he's got uh, enormous responsibility here in this situation with two quick ones. That'll have to be re bowled. Yes, it will. Having said that, Watch the next ball fly to slip. Commentator's curse. <laughs> He's on 36 now, son, at the moment. In the air, and I think it's gone straight up in the air. There's a field of circling underneath it. Is he going to take the catch? Yes, he does. Nera is the man that's taken the catch. The celebrations begin again. They again know how important that wicket was, and the crowd has gone deathly silent. He's gone for 36. It's 85 for three now. I would imagine there's only one reason why uh, Tashar has come out to bat, and that's to uh, bat with a bit of a license. There goes the sweep shot again, and it's very well placed. 45 degrees, there's no one down there, and it's gone whistling away all the way along the ground for four. Ball in, clean ball in, that hit middle stump. Well, if you pitch it up and you bowl straight, and the batsmen are going to play across the line, the chances are that you're going to get some wickets. And that's exactly what Ishan Sharma was hoping for and has got. Yes, result achieved. Captains brought him in to get rid of Tushara. He goes for the big, big swing first ball. And uh, all it has done is it has hit right on the middle stump. Success for Sharma. And he has a few things to say as well. So Tushara goes, he goes for 15 and Sri Lanka now 108 for four. Well, there he is, uh, Angelo Matthews, uh, the hero of the last match between these two sides, but uh, on that occasion it was with the ball. Yeah, they need a better runner ball. If they're going to get there. Oh, I tell you what, he's hit that beautifully, straight down the ground, way over the top, and all the way for six. Well... What a way to get off the mark. Oh, it's got him. He's hit it straight to short extra cover. Oh, well. Reiner takes the catch. And Yuvraj, as I said, has a bit of a reputation of being a strangler. That wasn't really a great delivery. It was a bit of a loose shot by Angelo Matthews. And uh, it's gone straight to short extra cover. Another bowling change uh, has uh, given results to the Indian captain. Straight to the fielder. Matthews trying to hit it on the up, not really coming on to it. And he goes for 14, Sri Lanka now 131 for 5. So 131 for 5. Kandambi is the new batsman. Did the right thing. It's nicely put away. There'll be runs here. Will it go through? Yes, it did. Great placement. And that really has been Kandambi's strength. Shift the oh, was that a mistake? Ball spun and jumped. Was that uh, back foot behind the line and uh, when Dhoni missed the ball? Yes, it was. In fact, uh, it was off the ground too. Oh, there he goes. He's gone. He can't believe it. That's gone. And there's a bit of celebration and a tackle out in the centre. The bat's come out of the hand and he's going to have to go. He thought about the height factor but he can't believe he has to go. The captain. But he's walking. 
It was, and it was well below the waist. Now, the bat comes out of the hand, and it goes and hits, it falls on the stumps. Now, that's quite unbelievable. Very disappointing. 33 for him. It is heartbreaking. 182 for six. Papagaita is the new man. Delivery. He's gone over the top. And that is a big hit. May have traveled the distance. No. One bounce and out of the ground. Short again. This is straight up. And this should be all over. And it's... Oh, no, he's dropped it. Oh, can you believe it? It was a setter for Bataan. And he shelled it. Listen to the crowd. That's his off century. That's very well played. Very controlled and sensible innings in the circumstances. Not easy with the pressure on like this and building. Yeah, he's done a very, very good job indeed. At some stage, we can uh, force India to bring that extra fieldsman in. So that uh, that's that's a, one aspect of the strategy they'll be thinking about. But oh. Oh, that would have been out. That would have been out. Well, there was an opportunity for the Indians. That time, he would definitely have been out by about a foot. Oh, he's hit that one hard. That's gone bouncing away. In fact, one bounce for four. That will relieve the pressure. Kapu Gedra takes his score to 20. Oh, that's well played. That'll go for four. That's a magnificent leg glance. That's also the 50 partnership. Can't afford to bowl too straight. But uh, Kapu Gedra has played a lovely shot here. Habajan Singh could be the man to win the game for India tonight. Gone for 66. Sri Lanka 264 for 8. Lasit Malinga makes his way to the crease and he's even smiling for a good part of his journey to the middle man. I don't know if it's a smile of stress, but Kandambi goes making room because there was no one sweeping on the offside. All the deep men were leg side and he knew Habajan would start with outside leg stump. Dilshan, Jaya Wardena and now Kandambi tonight. Three key wickets and Yuvraj was running away from him. I would as well if you're going to do that. Oh, number four, number four, Habajan Singh. He will be on a hat trick next ball, but I think you have to believe he's won it for India tonight. He's been the standout. And India now almost home. Sri Lanka have lost their ninth wicket with the score on 264. Yeah, they think that the result is done and dusted. Habajan Singh is on a hat trick. Only Kapil Dev and Chetan Sharma have done it for India. Oh. In ODIs, but there we go. Oh, mercy. Yusuf Patan is having a nightmare in the field. Quite deservedly, Habashan Singh gets a five wicket haul. What a victory here for India in the final of this Compact Cup. They win by 46 runs. Led by Sachin Tendulkar with the bat. Harbhajan Singh with the ball. Three in the final. Yes, fireworks and congratulations for the Indians. Confirmation of India winning the final of this Compact Cup by 46 runs. And what an exciting contest it was at times. Sri Lanka will regret what could have been possible.